Hello loves and welcome back to my channel. My name's Angelique if you are new here and today we are going to be doing my first cleaning unboxing. I had ordered the Dyson V10 Animal Upright Cordless Stick Vacuum. <laughs> I don't know the official name but I think that's pretty close. Anyways, I ordered it over Memorial Day and it was on a great sale. So I thought why not try it since it's on sale as well as I had a compact Dyson and I think it's kind of starting to give up and I've heard so many great things about the cordless version and I just thought for the type of cleaning and the type of house that I do and that we have that it would really make sense here because sometimes I just like want to quickly vacuum something. So honestly, I've been waiting to clean the house till this arrived because I wanted to film the unboxing, film me putting it together, give like my first impressions, clean the house with it and let you guys actually know my opinion like the first time using it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this new Dyson stick vacuum. I am so excited. You wouldn't think that a cleaning tool would get me this excited, but it does. Anything that can make my life easier when it comes to cleaning, I'm all about. All right, so we have here the Dyson Cyclone V10 Animal Cord Free Cool. I'm all about it. Okay, so let's open up the box. Ooh, papers. Wow, it's so clean. Before I put this together, I kind of wanted to share with you guys why I went with the V10. So I compared the V10 animal to the V8 animal, and although there was not much of a difference, um, I did like that this had more charge time, like you could vacuum longer because the way I clean, I like to do it all in one day, so I didn't want to like have to stop halfway just to charge the vacuum. And honestly, with the Memorial Day sale going on, there was only a hundred dollar difference between the two. And I happened to order from Best Buy because they had the best deal. And Sawyer actually had coupons, so it was like an additional like 50 or 60 dollars off. So with it only being like a $40 difference to order the V10, I thought it was worth it. So that was my scenario. Let's see, it's a stick vacuum. It is 0.2 gallons. It is 5.9 pounds. It is bagless. It can clean all four types. It is cordless. It's hyperallergenic. It's multi-surface, washable filters, 210 minutes to charge. And the other one did take longer to charge. Um, and this comes with different attachments. It has a dusting brush, a crevice tool, a mini motorized tool, a docking station, combination nozzle, and a torque drive cleaner head. And the max runtime is 60 minutes. So the official product name is the Cyclone V10 Animal Cord Free Stick Vacuum. It is a Dyson, obviously. Assembly required, no, but I do have to put it together. So I guess I don't have to like screw anything together. I just gotta like pop it all together. Yes, I ordered the gray version. So let's go ahead and put this together. Okay, did not mean to turn that on, but that is cool. It comes with four tools. So these are the four tools. I actually love having different attachments because um, I use them all the time, especially for like under the bed and things like that, and cleaning the couch. So that's really nice. And then it comes with a docking station, which actually works really well because in our front closet, we do have a plug and so I would be perfect for adding the stocking station and I can actually just charge it there so that way it can always be charging and it'll never be in the way so and everyone will always remember to put it away because you have to charge it yay that's exciting all right so this is the vacuum we have the head the stick and then like the motor and filter and dust can up here so it is only 20% charged so I am going to put it on the charger for a little bit before I clean so while we're waiting I'm just going to like tidy up the house so it can be a little clean with me as well so give me a second and we'll get this charged and then I'll show you guys how it works. But before I do, I just wanna show you. Whoa. Whoa, okay, let's charge it. Does anyone else find cleaning tools so fun or is it just me? I'm just curious. This is like a very exciting day. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Oh, 
have a full charge on the vacuum. And as you guys saw, I already went through the house and kind of tidied up and dusted and cleaned. Um, so that feels really nice. So what's left is to vacuum and mop. So um, I have my vacuum here. So excited to test it out. It did take about two hours to fully charge. So we are charged now. So we're gonna start in the kitchen and then I will come back with some updates, thoughts, and my first impressions. But very excited to try. The on button is here and we're ready to go. Before we get started, I did wanna add that I did read the manual. Yes, I'm that person. But I wanted to know exactly what I was working with so that way I didn't mess anything up. But there is a booster here. So there's like one, two, and three different like levels that you guys can vacuum at as well as there is a, whoops, as well as you can adjust the suction level. So you can like go up or down and based on like rugs or things like that, carpet, so I'll have to mess with that. But we're gonna get started. So that is obviously just the first <laughs> little section. Already you can see a lot of dust and like debris and just hair all up in there, which is already incredible. I feel like that's already more than what my other vacuum would get. As well as I can feel the vacuum like suction to the floor. When I literally turn it on, I can feel it like stick to the floor, which is like incredible. Um, I really like this so far and I like not having a cord to bother with. Um, yeah, so so far so good. Let's continue. Okay, now we're gonna go over to one of the rugs and I wanna test that out. Okay, I'm impressed with that because I tried using my other vacuum on it and it just was trying to like pull up the rug because on that other vacuum it's just like one on and off button. I can't change the section, I can't change the power. Um, I like that I have more control, um, especially because here there's so much dirt, there's so much dust and sand that little rugs get dirty so fast. So I love that I can just quickly clean it rather than always having to wash my rugs or shake them out. It's just like nice that I can just actually vacuum it. So I'm gonna quickly finish this area and like the kitchen and then I'm going to move underneath the couch into one of my thicker rugs and we'll test it there. So Sawyer wants to try my vacuum. The re real reason I bought this is listen. <laughs> Wait, like just listen until these are gone. Five sections up. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna test vacuuming the rug in here and also vacuuming underneath the couch, which is very, very exciting. I try to sweep under there, but it just doesn't work. And I love that this vacuum seems to go flat so I can get most of it. So let me test that theory. I'm very excited about this. Not even done, and you guys know how often I clean and look how much dirt this picked up. So this definitely has a stronger suction than the vacuum that I currently use. And it does go flat because with this base, it can turn, so that way it can go like underneath the couch as you can see. So it does go pretty much flat, which is awesome. So that means it'll be great for underneath the bed, underneath the couch, dressers, things like that. I'm out of breath. Anyways, this room is really good. I'm gonna test it underneath the bed and show you guys that. And then I think this test will be like pretty solid. But yeah, let me go empty this and then we'll head under the bed. All right, the last thing I wanna test is how it does like underneath the bed and cleaning this room. Only because our dog Hitch sleeps under the bed like most of the day and it gets so dusty under there. So I was trying to find a way to like properly clean. So I'm hoping this works because if it cleans like it has the rest of the house underneath the bed and can like go flat and get everything I need, I will be so happy because I feel like Hitch's life will just be better. <laughs> I just feel like he's a little dust mite at the moment. So let's test it out. Oh my gosh, 
Okay, it just died. I've put it through the ringer today and it probably needs to charge a little bit longer than I did. Very, very, very impressed with how it cleaned underneath the bed. I love that this can go flat. Okay, let me plug this in and I'll finish this video. Okay, just to wrap up this video, P.S. thanks for joining me on my first cleaning product unboxing as well as like a little clean with me. Very happy you're here. My final thoughts are I am very, very, very impressed, especially since I was coming from a vacuum that had like no speed adjustments. It was just one speed and you either were able to turn off the brushes or not. So. I am very, very happy with this vacuum. I think this is perfect for the lifestyle that we live here. Um, some people might like an upright vacuum for their life. Um, I feel like this is perfect for us. I'm excited to try out the attachments as well. Um, but my initial thoughts are, I really like the suction. I like that I'm able to like take off the hose and just use it more of as a handheld. I like that I can turn the suction on and off and I like that there are different speeds and this boost option is crazy. So I will link everything down below as well as the link to this exact one and the model that I was also considering and you can compare them for yourselves. Um, but yeah, this works perfect for us. Um, again, this is only the first day I'm using it so I will keep you updated, especially since I clean all the time in my videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this first impressions of the Dyson V10 Animal Cordless Vacuum. Woo, that is a tongue twister, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already. I talk about fashion, beauty, home decor, and our life in Hawaii. So basically, our lives. <laughs> Ooh, and also feel free to leave down in the comments below what your favorite vacuum is, or if you have this vacuum, your thoughts. I would love, I know it sounds funny, but to start a conversation about cleaning. I love cleaning, so yeah. Let's talk about cleaning down in the comments, but that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.